to Mic'd Up Magic with Austin and Caitlin. You are listening to episode 10, our favorite non-park things to do in Disney, where we will be discussing the things we like to do that don't involve you even having to step into a park. We hope you enjoy. Nice. 10 episodes. episodes. That's crazy. I feel like at the same time, it's like, I feel like we've been doing this for a really long time. So it feels like, I'm like, gosh, it feels like we've done more than 10 episodes, Mm -hmm. but... I mean, we do it every other week, but yeah, which is at crazy the same though. time though. It's like 10 episodes, a lot of episodes. Yeah. And it's already been so 20 weeks, 20 weeks. That seems crazy. That does. Seem I mean, crazy. it is already June. So I know I was thinking that the other day I was looking at something and, and something got posted online and it was like, oh, this will be announced on like June 10th or something. And I'm like, mm. what the heck? June 10th. That's so far away. And I like look at the <laughs> thing. I'm like, oh, it's the 8th. <laughs> As we are recording this on the 9th. Yeah, we're quite literally on the 9th. Yeah. So, yeah, it's already June. We're halfway through the year. Just means our trip's coming up faster. Oh, my gosh. Get me to Disney World, man. And this is something that we always do is we always book these fall trips and then wish our summers away. And yep. it's just like one of those things that we love going so much at that time during like all the Halloween stuff and everything. But yeah. having it then you're like wishing away the summer which is is kind of unfortunate we just have to book another trip in the spring so that we're never wi- we're never wishing time away you know what i mean yeah we gotta try out maybe two trips in a year rather than just one trip in a year because there's also a festival that we have not in the spring that we've missed out on not in the spring well wow. that one's in the winter well there you go lots lots to do lots to do lots technically there's actually two festivals we've missed because we've never done festival of the holidays either oh yeah but i never think of that one i wasn't really counting that no i don't either because that's like like it is but you know yeah that's what i mean i don't i don't ever i don't ever think of it yeah yeah anywho yeah um all right let's jump into some disney news you didn't have any disney news for us today no okay i have a few things there's really not a whole lot going on i feel like because everybody is solely focused on one thing which is the opening of tiana's bayou adventure oh yeah in the magic kingdom Mm -hmm. so um cast previews started like uh, like from when we're filming this about two weeks ago um so oh i guess it was that long ago already yeah like a week and a half. Week and a half, I guess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so cast previews has started, so that means that they are on the ball. Um, there's been some hiccups, though. Yes, there there's has been. There's been a lot of hiccups. I guess, like, a bunch of the cast previews have been kind of, like, like people haven't been able to actually ride them at their time because the ride keeps breaking down and things mm-hmm. keep happening. And I just said, like, Heidi and I were talking about this the other day, and I was like, why would they go and refurbish this whole ride and then not fix the the things of, like, the ride not running because splash yeah. mountain always has issues like it's always randomly closing down and stuff mm-hmm. so i'm like why wouldn't they fix that so yeah. apparently like she said when they were there it was like um something to do with like maybe not all the animatronics were working mm-hmm. perfectly or whatever like that's yeah. kind of why they run the cast previews too right to like you know so you know, you know you're like get the get the quirks get it, out get it working yeah. yeah so it might just be something like that but i don't know why they would close the ride down just for animatronics not working mm-hmm. so there must be some other stuff going on but yeah. all i know is i am excited to ride i will do anything that i can to ride that ride when we are able to go yep. um we are not people if you're new here we are not people to buy genie plus or lightning lanes really ever um but we will be if we need to we have like a guardians exception and yeah. then now this will be another exception yeah. if it, if it's required but even guardians like we don't buy it every time no but like we have yeah we've bought it's it the only like one twice, we have. right yeah. yeah um because it's worth it and then also if anyone does want to see what the cast previews are like or wants to watch any content of it brandon and heidi did both of them went um heidi was there on the weekend and so they have a vlog uploaded if anyone is curious we can leave a link down below for you guys we have not watched said vlog yet because we are trying to avoid spoilers however heidi did tell me that they have timestamps on that vlog that say when the spoilers start and when they are done um, and then they just give their opinions at the end so um if you're looking to watch it if you want to see what's what it was all about it's always sunny on youtube yeah go check them out uh next object in disney news this is how i like this is like really showing how little disney news there is inside out 2 comes out next week hey, no that's fun <laughs> it's been when did the first one come out 
Do you know? It, okay, I saw something online and it was like it's something like eight years ago. Yeah, or like it's been a long time. Maybe even ten years. Like so, that's gonna be that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, because people were saying like it's so fun that like these like these characters have grown like that they've grown up with these characters and I'm like yeah I'm like that's so funny because it's like I see it as like I saw the first one as an adult and now I'm seeing the second one also as an adult uh, but like there's literally people they're like oh my gosh the first time I saw yeah. this I was seven and then now I'm eighteen like, and you're like. <laughs> yeah but that's kind of how it was with toy story for us right mm-hmm. same with monsters university and monsters inc yep. it was like monsters university came out the year that like most of us that kind of w- grew up watching monsters inc went away mm-hmm. to university or college so yeah it's kind of cool how disney does that they they really know how to get your heartstrings going yeah they for get sure. that they get the original audience and they get all the new people like it's just yeah. they're very but yeah I'm, I'm excited for inside out too they've been doing a lot of like merch in the parks for inside out too and mm-hmm. then right now they have i don't know how much longer this will last obviously because the movie's about to come out but in uh, hollywood studios they have like a little sneak preview you know how they do that in like the one man's dream theater yeah, yeah. in Hollywood studios? They have a little sneak oh, preview, I guess, of Inside Out too. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Heidi told me that they went and watched it. Oh, nice. So, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the new emotions. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for anxiety because I feel like I'm going to vibe, vibe with that <laughs> little that little character. Um, yeah. Um, and then the Country Bears new songs, um, mm. a few of them have been released, mm-hmm. so or not released, but like announced. So yeah. the Country Bears, if you don't know, is in Magic Kingdom, and they're getting a refurb. Where basically they're just updating like the songs and like the content of it, but it's still going to be kind of that like country bear jamboree type show um with the bear animatronics and they're going to be singing some songs. Um, but they're updating it so that they're doing classic Disney songs in like country twang different country styles so some will be like country rock country pop um just like i don't know yeah man whatever other kind of ones but um some of the songs that they announced that they're doing are um try everything a whole new world and the bare necessities those are some of the songs that you're you're getting a sneak preview of so that's exciting i'm i'm excited for it i i i like the idea that they're doing um where they're just like gonna redo some of the mm. ones i think it'll i think it'll go over well yeah and we pe- actually got to do it before too so at least we yeah we got we did get to experience the the we, og we only did it once yep <laughs> but we did it one and done one and done that's all it needed i'll yeah. tell you that sorry to the country bear lovers out sorry, there sorry you guys but it's uh, just not our cup of tea it was fine it was fine yeah it was just like i was just like whoa wow. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah is that all you got that's all i got three wow. little three little measly news points i'm telling you it's, it's all been i, th- I think everything and, and i think they are saving so much news for d23 we're oh, gonna have yeah. to do a whole d23 episode oh, yeah. like yeah, for sure. recapping our opinions on everything um but 100 percent, they're just saving it for that because really mm-hmm. d23 happens in two months yeah like that it's is true. beginning of june or beginning of august so yeah. They're not going to be dropping anything crazy in the next two months before mm. D23. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. So, did we even say what the topic was for today? Yeah, in the intro. Oh, in the intro, But you yeah. can, can, you can kind of so expand. we are going to talk about things that you can do at Walt Disney World that do not require park tickets. Yes. So, this is something that we always do... Like some of these things are at least like spend half a day here, half a day there. If it's not a full day, because normally we are in the parks like pretty much every day. Yeah, to be fair, we normally always buy full park tickets for the whole trip. Yeah. We don't really ever do a resort day or whatever. But but these are things that we do like to do if we have like an afternoon or like the middle of the day and we don't want to be in the park sweltering. So um, yeah. yeah, so we just have I have five things. We kind of were talking about it before we recorded and. We kind of both had the same type of thing. So we were going to do lists like each of us, but at the end of the day, it's really the same stuff. So we'll just kind of chit chat and tell you guys about the different stuff that we like to do. Yeah. And then there also is like a couple of the points are very broad where there's a lot that can kind of go into them. Um, So we'll just kind of go through it all. Okay. So the first one is going to be golfing at Disney World. So if you don't know, they have courses on property and this is something that like not everyone is going to be too keen on but if you are a golfer or you do have a golfer in your party Mm -hmm. um, this is a great option 
Um, the courses are really nice. They keep them up really well. Um, everything runs smoothly. Like it's all very like Disney esque as like how, how they operate it. Um, and yeah, it's, it was incredible. We went one time and I would do it again. Um, you are able to rent clubs. So if you don't want to bring clubs, there are rentals there that, that you can get. Um, and how much is golf? Like, cause, cause this isn't a free activity for people to do. No, on no, no. Day. It's like, I think it was like a hundred and twenty dollars riding for both of us no each oh each okay yeah yeah so it is like a little bit more expensive but the course is very nice it is on property and you are paying that that disney premium like always um but yeah no we i would definitely do it again um i know that we've talked about it and like you might if we were if i were to do it again you might do like a little uh resort morning or some other type of activity yeah um just not because it's not as worth it for you yeah like i i enjoyed it i'm yeah. i'm a i'm a novice golfer where like i grew up golfing as a kid but like i'm not good like i just like i i can hit the ball yeah fairly consistently yeah. and like that's about it but i don't i don't love golf like austin does so like i said to him if we were if he was to ever want to go golfing again like i might go but i also might just like chill at the resort one morning or like i'd go into the park for the morning or something like that mm-hmm. like it's it's not something that's totally my th- like like i wouldn't like go out of my way to do it yeah. however like austin said if there's somebody in your party who maybe you guys are already saying like okay we're not going to do a park day today everybody kind of gets to do what they want to do mm-hmm. like if your husband boyfriend spouse whatever whatever um if they are like a a golfer i would look into doing it yeah another thing i'll add just like a side point kind of if you're not a golfer disney actually has some really fun mini golf courses so they have two different little mini putts that you can go to they have fantasia gardens and they have um winter summerland i believe is what it's called so So they're two different totally themed mini putt courses they are so much fun yeah um a lot of the time disney actually gives you if you're staying on property you actually are able to go once for free um it's not all the time, but a lot of the time you can do this. Um, and it's really fun. We've done it once where we've done the winter mm-hmm. Summerland one. Um, and it's, it's a really fun golf course. It's like a mini, mini golf course, but it's, yeah. it's really fun. And again, it's a little way to break up your afternoon. Like we did it one day when we did water parks in the morning, we did the golf course and then we like went into the park, I think in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's a fun way to break up your day. It's something a little bit different. It's not like I think if you're, I think if you're not getting it for free or whatever it was, I think it's like 20 bucks a person or something. So it's something, something easy like that. Um, but that's something that we like to do. Yeah. It was fun. A little off morning. Yeah. Um, and then I will say too about the actual golf courses, I'm pretty sure you can just go to the front desk and like say that you're going there and they'll get you you a ride. If you have a tea time. Yeah. So if you're kind of worried about like, how am I going to actually get there? You, there is that option. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah. Um, so obviously look into it ahead and like how it actually works out, but there is some sort of transportation that you can get to to the golf courses from any of the Disney hotels. Yes. Um, and then the only other thing I was going to say too, is even if you don't have the time or don't want to spend the money to actually golf, um, if you can get over there, um, if you don't have a tea time with like Uber or whatever, if you have a car, the pro shops are very cool yeah if you're if you're if you have somebody in your life that doesn't really love like a typical like disney t-shirt or whatever if they're more of like an athletic type of person that's the kind of stuff that they like to wear disney has a lot of nice golf stuff that is a little bit more like on the athletic side but it still has disney elements to it so and they have a super cool bucket hat Austin has a bucket hat. For My them. signature bucket hat and he is loves from it. the pro shop. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, so no, golf is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. And at Disney, it's just that much better. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So on to number two, I was going to talk about the Polynesian beach, specifically at nighttime, watching my happily ever after. Mm-hmm. This is a good activity. Again, not required to have a park ticket. And 100% free. 100% free to do this specific thing. So, I mean, I'm just going to use the situation. If you have a dining reservation at Ohana, which obviously you have to pay for, 
but you have dinner, you plan out the timing properly, and then you can just go right outside. You sit on the beach, watch over uh, the lake, and they pl play the music through the speakers on the beach, and then you can see the fireworks and kind of go through the music. It's a really cool experience. Um, I would, I wouldn't do that as like your first time if you've never seen I the show. I was just about to say like, that. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it because you can't see the projections and everything, but if you've seen the show m multiple times um it's a really cool like different angle to see it from yeah and it's fun it's the polynesian also is just a beautiful resort and yeah. it's a very easy resort to get to mm -hmm. um because all you have to do is get to if you're staying on another disney property just take a bus to magic kingdom hop on the monorail and go right over to the poly it's very very easy to get over there yeah. um and yeah it's a really nice hotel there's lots of different um like eating places you can go to yep. eating places restaurants that you can go to <laughs> um quick service and sit down they have a couple different gift shops there yep. it's just which a, are really good yeah and it's just a really nice ground to to be at mm -hmm. um so yeah we we like doing that yeah because they they have unique um like items in those gift shops too yeah because it's like that polynesian theme um so yeah no that's that's like a it, that's a really really special like thing to do yeah and it's also probably i think the only like disney resort where you can actually be somewhere without having to pay to watch the fireworks because there's a couple other um like dinner options that you mm. can do but you do have to pay like if you want to go watch them at the top of the um like topolino's terrace at the riviera for example or if you want to watch fireworks from um California Grill. Yeah, California Grill on the Contemporary. You can watch them there at any time, but you do have to pay for like dinner there or any meal at some point during the day yeah. before you're allowed to go upstairs. So um, being able to be on the beach to watch them is pretty nice where you literally do not have to pay anything to watch yeah, them. And, and like it's the perfect spot because it's directly across the lake. Yeah. From, sorry, I just hit the mic. Um, it's directly across the the lake from magic kingdom so you don't even have a side angle or nothing you're basically looking at it like bang on yeah okay so then the next point uh the next point i'm going to talk about is doing a skyliner or monorail crawl um so basically just going on either the skyliner or the monorail and doing the loop and kind of checking out all of the different resorts that are on that um that loop so this is really great because you get to see so many different resorts and it's so easy and quick to get to them all because there are a lot of resorts where if you want to go take a look or you're even if you're going for a dinner or whatever like it just takes so much time to either get from where you are to that place and then back whatever so having these like modes of transportation is really nice because you're just instantly either at magic kingdom epcot studios and you just kind of can do your loop around yeah and like it because if you because if you don't know a lot of the like you can't get from one resort to another by the bus the the you you're not able to do that you have to go from a resort to the park and then a park to a resort but the skyliner and the monorail allow you to easily do that yeah so there's just like even just if you if you're doing the the monorail one for example like you get to see all these deluxe resorts like just bang 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 and they're all so different like contemporary um polynesian grand Floridian, floridian like it's just you get to see so much um and then all the different gift shops all the different restaurants like they're all differently themed pin trading like there's just so much and you can spend so much time really going in and out and kind of just exploring the the whole of what the resorts have to offer. Yeah. And you can, ex you can spend as much time as you want to spend. Right. So in each, uh, especially of the deluxe resorts, let's talk about the monorail crawl for a second. Um, a lot of people, what they do is they go to each different bar at each of the resorts, mm -hmm. um, where you can maybe get a drink, at each one and kind of go bop around we're not big drinkers so we've never done this before but we like to go in we like to just walk around like austin said go into the gift shops pin trading is a really big thing that we like to do in disney in general so being able to go into the gift shops and pin trade is really fun um because i, I will say the deluxe resort pin boards always have good pins mm -hmm. so it's a good spot to check out if you're ever a pin trader and haven't ever done like the actual crawl like the crawl of it um, um, and it does take, like we said, as much as much or as little time as you want it to take. Like if you want to just quickly pop in, pop out, it's easy. Um, I will say for the monorail crawl, because they have changed the way that they work their security, um, 
you have to get your bag checked every time you go to get onto the monorail. Um, they don't do it like that for the Skyliner, but for the monorail, it you do. So that does add a little bit of time to it, but it really mm. isn't ever bad because no. especially depending, like don't be doing this crawl right at park open. You know what I mean? Like wait mm-hmm. a bit so yeah. that there's not a lot of people going in and out of the resorts mm-hmm. um, and it'll be a pretty quick process. So it's definitely a fun option to do. And then yeah, for the Skyliner crawl, um, it's a little bit different where it's not necessarily a loop, but you can kind of get to everything through the Skyliner. So you're going to either pop century or art of animation. And then you go to the hub, which is the Caribbean beach resort. Um, and then you can jump on a different Skyliner and go towards, um, the Riviera, which is the deluxe resort on that grouping. So that one's kind of fun because you really can see the difference of value resort resorts to a moderate resort to a deluxe resort you can Mm -hmm. see the difference of them all um and yeah it's really fun i think my favorite is to do the skyliner crawl because i one like the skyliner a little bit more than the monorail i like Mm -hmm. that you're independent like you're just by yourself in the little um gondola that you're in and i also like too that it's just like exactly that like it's like you get to experience kind of different levels and you see Mm -hmm. the different the different uh types of resorts that disney offers yeah yeah and like yeah it yeah it's just cool the because the theming is so cool at pop century and art of animation like they have the big characters and all the colorful buildings and like whatever right and then and then you go over to the caribbean beach you can see like the the, the their pool is really cool you can see that from when you're on like mm-hmm. the, the thing and you kind of get the yeah it's just it's fun it, it, it is fun to just see so many different types of things types of resorts yeah yeah for sure so we grab recommend a, grab a joffrey's at the caribbean beach uh, stopover yeah especially like especially if you're staying on one of those um resorts like something to do on a arrival day or a departure day would be doing something like this where you can kind of yeah. just bop around and see all the different places you can stay especially too another thing if you have a resort refillable mug mm-hmm totally worth it to bring it along when you're doing these resort because you can fill that re- resort refillable mug up at any resort it doesn't have to be your home resort this is true yeah nice yep. yeah um and then so the next our next point is kind of a large topic but it's just disney springs as a whole um mm-hmm. so this is like disney's public shopping district so it's just on property anyone can go there restaurants stores um drone shows as of right now yeah they're they're testing that out right now um i will say like disney springs for me used to really only ever be like an evening thing or something that you could very easily do in a couple hours Mm -hmm. that is not the case anymore disney springs is so so much more than just like a, like a little place to go and kind of bop around and shop like they obviously do have shops they have disney licensed shops and then they also just have like regular stores you'd find in your everyday life like they have like sephora and they had well i don't think they have lululemon anymore but they had lululemon they have uniqlo they have zara like all these different types of actual stores as well as you know they have world of disney where if you're looking for any disney merch that is the store to go to um mm-hmm. they have like goofy's candy co which is like a little confectionery they have a really big Big pin shop there um so anything you're looking for you are gonna find in disney springs um other things they offer like austin said they have different restaurants so they have quick service and they have table service disney springs actually has so many amazing table service options we've only really eaten at one table mm-hmm. service restaurant in disney springs because again we don't we don't really prioritize non-park days but i feel like the more we go the more we will prioritize that yeah um but you know trying out different restaurants that aren't you know you don't need a reservation for again those arrival days the departure days things like that are really good to spend time in disney springs Mm -hmm. um and then two other options that these ones are again like paid for things but they do offer them at disney springs is that they do have cirque du soleil they have a cirque du soleil show that is specifically made for disney um i did it once when i was 16 with my mom it was a different show at the time but we did it one day. It was amazing. If you've never seen a Cirque du Soleil show, highly recommend you to go see it. It's incredible. The like acrobatics and things that they do. And then also just add Disney onto it. It's just, it's another level. Um, and then they also have a movie theater. 
Yep. So you can go to a movie. We've done that before. We've gone and seen, what was it, Avengers Endgame? Yep. Yep. And so, that was like the coolest thing ever to yeah. see see that movie in disney so in disney if you're ever going and you're like oh there's a disney movie coming out it's pretty fun to go to a disney theater to go see a disney movie um, and just a small tidbit if you are seeing a movie at the theater and it is late don't worry you will get, be able to get a bus yep. we got out of our i think our movie at like 1 30 in the morning or something yeah, and two. There was just like a cast member standing there like, hey, where are you guys going? And then they radioed a bus and like got us. Disney will take care of you. They always make sure that everyone's back where they need to be um, no matter what the time is. So small, small note. Anyways, so continue your your rant. That's okay. Um, And then I was also going to say that they also have a bowling alley at Disney Springs. So if you're interested to bowl, you can bowl. Um, It's Splitsville. So it's basically, it is a restaurant, but it's also a bowling alley. So that's something fun you can do. We've again, never done that before, but it is an option there. Mm -hmm. Um, They also have, I'm just listing off all the different like, you know, items at Disney Springs. They also have a massive hot air balloon that you can go up into. This one is paid again that you do have to pay for, but it like lifts you up. I think it's called, was it characters in flight or something? It lifts you up in a big hot air balloon. You get to see all of Disney Springs. Um, We've never done it. So I don't know the extent of how far you can see. I would assume that you can probably see all the way over to like Magic Kingdom and such, but um, yeah, pretty cool thing you can do there and then the last like austin said is this new drone show so the drone show just started a couple weeks ago and basically they're just kind of testing it out um and they're i don't know i i really don't know a whole whole lot about it Mm -hmm. um i do know you can only see it from one area of disney Springs, so it's not something where you can just like stand anywhere and watch it and see it well you kind of do have to stand in this like designated area and Disney Springs is already a very, very crowded place, especially at night. So definitely is adding to the crowds. But mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we we always go to Disney Springs like twice, twice a yeah, trip. Yeah, I would say we go about twice. Yeah. Um, but like we said, we don't really, we, we eat at kind of the same spots and we, mm-hmm. we do the same type of things. But I do really, there's a lot of different restaurants I really do want to try out at Disney Springs. So yeah. I feel like in the future we'll, I want, I want to try and prioritize Disney Springs a little more. Yeah. And then this is like the, the Gideon spot. So we always end up getting a, a handful of cookies to bring home, put in the freezer. Yep. Um, and then also they have the Joffrey store there. So yep. you can go and get your bags of coffee there. Um, you can get the bags, the like regular flavors kind of around the parks, like the flavor of what they serve. You can yeah, buy the yeah, bags yeah. Um, at at the parks or resorts, but they uh, at the store they actually have like the whole wide selection. So yeah. it's nice to go there and and stock up on your uh, on your coffee. Yeah, no Disney Springs is awesome. They've really they've done a lot to it, so it really makes it worth it for you to actually go over there. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I also the last thing I was going to talk about was just having a chill and relaxed resort day. Yeah. And this can be at your resort or you could go and explore a different resort. Yeah. So kind of back over to that monorail or Skyliner crawl, you know, you can either pop over to other resorts. Like if you were, let's say you went to Disney Springs one day and you're like, hey, we want to go have some beignets at Port Orleans French Quarter. You jump on a little boat and you head over there. Or maybe you're spending the day at your resort where maybe you're staying at an all-star, for example. If you're like, hey, I want to go look at the animals at Animal Kingdom Lodge. You jump on a bus, you head over to Animal Kingdom, and then you jump on another bus and head over to Animal Kingdom lodge um it's definitely fun to just kind of pop over and do i will say you couldn't do a full day at a different resort that you're not staying at because you're not able to do the pools um that's something that's like i feel like i see a lot of people saying like oh when you stay on disney property you can go into any resort pool that you want to go into and this is not the case you have to be staying at the resort to go into that pool um but yeah, you can definitely at least go check out some more of the resorts, but we like doing like a, I feel like we're going to enjoy a resort day a lot more often now that we're staying at like deluxe resorts being DVC members now. Um, but even when we would stay at pop, like we used to go back and spend like a couple hours at a time, yep. Yep. just like chilling at the pool, walking the gift shops, like doing the thing. So mm-hmm. it's fun. It's a fun little thing to do. Again, I do feel like 
you might prioritize it a little more if you're staying at one of those resorts that have a little bit more to offer. Yeah. Um, all the resorts though do have like kids activities. So if you do have like a young child, if you're spending, if you're just like, I just want to sit by the pool all day, they have like um, event people that will kind of entertain your kids so they do like little pool activities little games they do like tie-dye sometimes um other things that like the resorts offer is that at a certain time i think it's around dusk they start doing like campfires so you can do s'mores um that are you pay for the s'mores but if you just want to roast marshmallows you can just do it for free i just want to do this more so bad man i just want to do this more so bad uh, but you can do that. There's other options where they have a movie. Most, I'm pretty sure all resorts do this, but I they do the problem. movie under the stars. So they have this big jumbo blow up screen somewhere on your resort property. Um, mm -hmm. And they'll play a different Disney movie every night. And normally when you get to your resort, somewhere there will be a board or something that'll say like what movie is on each night. So you could kind of yeah. plan around like, oh, you know, tangled's playing on wednesday maybe we'll come back to our resort early and sit and watch the movies um you can do that at your resort again obviously spend time at your pool spend time maybe if you're staying at a deluxe resort or a moderate resort that has like a sit down meal option book some type of meal like yep. you know book a breakfast book a dinner something that you can go and enjoy at your resort we really like especially Again, I, I sound annoying, but especially now recently that we've been staying at these more deluxe resorts, we've really been prioritizing eating at the resort that we're staying at yep. to just really try out the food. So when we were staying at Pop Century or Art of, or not Art of Animation or like the All Stars or anything like that, mm -hmm. we would really like like to go to different resorts to to do different um, dining, but. Yeah. Now we're really just like no, we're yeah. staying at these nice resorts. Why don't we just eat here and like that's where we're gonna enjoy our foods? Yeah. Now now that we have the the option of staying at these resorts, which we didn't really think was gonna be a thing. Yeah. Um, back like back then when we first started going on trips, um, I think now we kind of wanna keep it more to our the resort we're actually staying at so we can kind of save different places for different yeah. years or or trips yeah and then you have little things to look forward to but yeah. again like if you're staying at um a value resort they don't have sit-down meals so if you're looking for something for a sit-down meal another resort or disney springs is your best option if you're yeah. not going into a park that yeah. day yeah and then also just take a look at your resort because there are specific resorts that have their own individual activities um like i know like at uh fort wilderness they have like that big bonfire yeah which i mean there's fire. it's similar but it's a different it's kind of a different, different thing yeah or like the horseback riding they have there oh, um yeah. or i was thinking of another one a couple of seconds ago i can't remember it now but just make sure you actually look into your resort well um, yeah sorry some of them um like the boardwalk has the surrey bikes you can rent yeah so they like you you know those double person bikes or um i think at port orleans you can do like a horse and carriage ride or something around mm -hmm. the road like stuff like that but yeah like like austin said look into the amenities and the like activities that you can do at each of your resorts because disney definitely has lots of things that will entertain you because yeah. you know you're like oh well i still have to spend money for that but it's like but instead of paying whatever 180 dollars for a park day ticket you're spending 50 bucks on a yeah. i don't know horse and buggy no ride. yeah <laughs> so it's just another option for us a, a slower paced day yeah. um less crowded because there's the way less people at the resorts especially during the day yes. um so if you're just kind of feeling a little overwhelmed there is tons to do um even just around your own resort yeah and obviously, too, like we're just talking about the things on Disney property. Of course, you can go off Disney property. You can go to Universal for the day. You could probably go to a beach for the day. You can go to the outlets. You can do yep. different stuff like that. We really are just like we like to stay in the bubble like Get that is that bubble. yeah that is to our point. It's the easiest thing to do. All of Disney transportation is covered you don't have to worry about that um mm -hmm. there's definitely ways to get around disney world without having to pay for an uber or pay for a minivan um so yeah we like to just hang around disney property yeah yeah but yeah that's i mean i feel like we covered all the things that we like to do on yeah our like days. i'm sure there's there's a, a lot of other things again those small things at specific resorts yeah. that we didn't mention um so if there's anything that you guys love to do or have done before and would or would not recommend yeah um leave it in the comments 
or send us a dm however you feel uh the best the best way to get that info to us yep. um and we will share any responses we get yep um but i i think that's it's, it's a shorter episode hey but that's okay people don't always have time to listen to an hour and a half of us yapping but i think that's kind of all we have so oh that's um, great Thank you guys all for listening. Um, the audio uh, the audio version of the podcast will be up on Spotify and Apple. The video on YouTube, Magically Caitlin. And we are on Instagram, Magically Caitlin and Magically Ozzy or Miked Up Magic Podcast. I've been slacking on the podcast Instagram, I will say. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of call you out quickly that the last time I edited TikTok content for the podcast, you didn't post one of them. I did. I posted one. Anyway, hey, you know what? I I work. I do a lot. Okay, <laughs> you work like a dog. <laughs> I work like a dog over here. Yeah, you do. You're busy. We we are busy. We are busy. <laughs> Just a little butt hurt about it. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe you should edit some better videos because obviously oh. I didn't. Obviously, I didn't think it was worthy. Yeah, that could be true. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways. That is a wrap on the things we'd like to do on an off day at Disney World. We will see you guys and chat with you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>